Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. I hope everyone is having a happy crochet or knitting day. Well, it's Stitch of the Week time and this week's stitch is number 105 and I'm calling it the Easy Peasy Half Double Crochet Cross Stitch. Now this pattern is so super easy that you're going to want to use it for everything from an afghan to a dishcloth to maybe even a sweater. It has one row of half double crochet cross stitches and then the next row is just a regular half double crochet row. It has just beautiful texture to the pattern. This is the front and when you turn it over it's going to have a little bit smoother side. So that is the back and then again when you turn it over on the front you're going to see how the cross stitches just add that little bit of extra texture to the stitch pattern. So this is my first sample. Now this sample was made using Lion Brand Yarns Landscape. This is a roving style yarn. It works up beautiful. It has great stitch definition and the required hook size is a size K 10 and a half. So the bigger hook really makes this pattern go fast and this is color Boardwalk color number 201AZ. So this is what the yarn looks like and then this is what it looks like worked up. So that's my first sample. Now my second sample, I have a total of four samples. This sample I already showed you when I did the video of the yarn swatch with the Premier Anti-Pilling DK colors in the Batik, but I wanted to show you how it looked using a smaller hook size and a thinner yarn. So this is a light number three yarn and it used a size G6 crochet hook. Now this stitch pattern, I just think with the lighter yarn. It still has that texture and it's a beautiful pattern that I think would be perfect for a baby afghan. Isn't that pretty in the lightweight yarn? So that's my second sample. Let me tell you the color of that. Again, it was the Premier Anti-Pilling DK Colors Batik and this was color Lucky Duck, color 2053-04. Now my third sample, I always love to use that classic white or cream color. So this is actually the cream color and I use the Premier Basics for this sample. Again, you can see how that cross stitch just adds that beautiful texture to the pattern. I'm moving it around so you can kind of see how that looks and get a better idea of the texture. So that's the front where you can see the cross stitches are raised just a little bit and then when you turn it on the back it has a smoother finish to it. So that's the wrong side and that's the right side. And this sample was made using the Premier Basics in the number four worsted in the color cream, color 1115-32. My last sample was made using a multicolor, but you can still see a little bit of that texture. Now with all multicolored yarns, variegated yarns, you do lose some of the stitch definition when you're working these patterns. But I just love this colorway. This sample was made using the new Lion Brand Yarns Bundle of Love. This is a huge skein. Let me zoom out just a little bit more. It comes in a wonderful size. Look at these colors. This is what it looks like on the skein and this is what it looks like worked up. This is a number four medium weight yarn and it comes in a large 11 ounce skein. Now all my samples I use the recommended hook size that was on the yarn label for my samples. Now this is color chamomile, color 209V. Just beautiful colors if you like those pastel rainbow baby colors. And this would also look pretty if you done the half double crochet rows in white 
and maybe do your cross stitch rows in this color. The white would separate and with the high contrast, it would really make that multicolor stand out more. So all kinds of possibilities with this pattern. So those were my four samples. Now with this stitch pattern, it is a multiple of two plus one. So you would chain in multiples of two, two, four, six, eight, ten, and then when you get to the width you want, you add one more chain. So now for the tutorial today, I'm just going to use up the rest of my Lion Brand Landscapes because it uses a bigger hook and it just helps make you see the stitches more. So grab whatever yarn you're going to use, look on the yarn label, and use the recommended hook size for the yarn you're going to use. And let's get this pattern started. To begin our pattern, we're going to chain 15. That is the multiple of 2 times 7 for 14, and then we're going to add one more chain for a total of 15 chains. So I already have my yarn attached to my hook, and I just used a double knot. You can join your yarn to your hook in whichever way you prefer. You're going to yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook, and that creates your first chain. That's 1, 2, 3, four, five, continue until you have 15 chains and I'll be back and we'll start row one. I have my 15 chains made and now we're ready to begin row one. For row one, you're going to yarn over, you're going to skip that first chain and insert into the next chain or the second chain from hook. You have three loops, you're going to yarn over, pull back through that chain you still have three loops, and then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That's how you do a half double crochet. I'll show you one more time. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now we're going to continue and work one half double crochet in each chain across. Now when you're doing a stitch pattern, you have two choices. You can either work your stitches into the top chain, or you can flip your chain over and go into the horizontal strand on the back of your chain on the wrong side. And this will create a beautiful edging on your work. Now for this video, I'm just going into the top loop, but if you know how to do the back bump and you prefer that method, you can do that as well. Half double crochet into the next chain, and then half double crochet in each chain across. So I'm just going to continue and work a half double crochet in each chain until I get to the end of my row. So we have a few stitches to go. And if you hear all that background noise, my husband is out cutting the grass. I live right next to a four lane highway, so the cars and trucks can be very noisy at times. So I apologize for the background noise. So I'm over to my last chain and we're going to half double crochet into that last chain. So when you look at your work, you should have a total of 14 half double crochet if you chain 15. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Now, if you're new to crocheting, you might want to put a stitch marker into your last stitch and then come back to the very first stitch and put a stitch marker in your first stitch so you know where the end and starting point of each row is. So now we're going to begin row two. Now row two and row three will be your repeat rows. To begin row two, you're going to chain one. You're going to turn your work. 
we're going to yarn over, you're going to skip that beginning chain one, and you're going to go under the top two loops of that very first stitch. Insert underneath the top two loops, yarn over, pull through that stitch, you have three loops, yarn over and pull through three loops. You just made your half double crochet. You always want to work one half double crochet into that first stitch. Now we're going to work our cross stitch. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip this next stitch, insert under the top two loops of the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops. You made your half double crochet. Now we're going to yarn over, bring your hook back to the front of your work, and you're going to go from the front to the back into that skip stitch under the top two loops. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops. You just made your half double crochet cross stitch. So now we're going to work that pattern across to the last stitch. Yarn over, skip the next stitch, insert into the next stitch, and work a half double crochet. Yarn over, bring your hook back around to the front of your work, and insert into the skip stitch and work your half double crochet. Your half double crochet cross stitch is made. Let's do it again. You're going to yarn over, skip the next stitch, insert into the next stitch and always go under the top two loops, work your half double crochet. Yarn over, bring your hook to the front of the work, insert from front to back under the top two loops of the skip stitch, work your half double crochet. Your half double crochet cross stitch is made. So we have a couple more to go. Yarn over the hook, skip the next stitch, Insert into the next stitch, work your half double crochet. Yarn over, bring your hook to the front of the work, insert under the top two loops of that skip stitch, you're going to see it right here, work your half double crochet. Your cross stitch is made. Yarn over, skip the next stitch, insert into the next stitch, work your half double crochet. Yarn over, bring your hook to the front of the work, and you're coming over to the skip stitch. Insert from front to back, underneath the top two loops of that skip stitch, work your half double crochet. Your cross stitch is made. We have one to go. You're going to yarn over, skip the next stitch, insert under the top two loops of that next stitch, work your half double crochet. Yarn over, bring your hook back to the front of your work, come back to the skip stitch, insert from front to back under the top two loops, work your half double crochet. Your cross stitch is made. So if you're working on a wider project, then you're going to continue skipping the next stitch, half double crochet into the next, and then come back and half double crochet into that skip stitch to make your cross stitch. So when you get to the end of the row, you should have one stitch remaining. We're going to work one half double crochet into that end stitch. Now, if you're new to crocheting, make sure you're not going into these two loops. You really need to turn your work and go into the top of that stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert under the top two loops, and work a half double crochet. And this is what your work is going to look like. You're going to have a half double crochet into the very first stitch, and then you're going to work cross stitches all the way over, and you're going to end with one half double crochet into the last stitch. So row two is finished, and now we're ready to do row three. For row three, you're going to chain one, and you're going to turn your work. You're going to skip that beginning chain one, work a half double crochet under the top two loops of that very first stitch. Now we're going to work one half double crochet in each stitch across. And remember, I always work under the top two loops. Half double crochet into the next stitch. 
half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch and now I'm just going to continue and work one half double crochet in each stitch to the end of the row so just a few more stitches to go and if I'm going too fast, just pause the video until you get caught up. And again, if you're new to crocheting, make sure you're putting stitch markers into the first and last stitch. So when you come over to the end of the row, there will be a stitch marker here in this last stitch. So you know where your last stitch should be and half double crochet into the top of that last stitch. And that is the end of row three, and that's how easy this pattern is to do. So to continue working on the pattern, if you need additional help, just click back on the video and repeat row two and row three over and over for your pattern, and you're going to end on row three with that half double crochet in each stitch across. Now remember, all my Stitch of the Week patterns are free. I'll have a link. You can go directly to our website, creativegrandma.net. Just click on the Stitch of the Week button, scroll down to stitch number 105, and you'll find the easy peasy half double crochet cross stitch. Just click on the name of the stitch pattern and it'll pull up the instructions. You can download it right to your computer and follow along with the video. So thank you everybody for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here on Creative Grandma's channel. So until next time, happy crocheting everyone!